The Michael Jordan era is arguably one of the greatest periods of the NBA history. Have you ever wondered what the nastiest NBA players are from that time? Stick around in this video to find out the top 5 nastiest players from the Michael Jordan era. Hello there and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy watching everything NBA related, be sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on. Larry Bird is talked about so much that it seems almost mythical. Was he really that good? Was he really that feared? Was he really that tough? Yes to all three. He fought pretty much everybody. He was just wired to not back down. He got into a barroom fight during the Eastern Conference Finals in 1985. Even Larry Bird himself wondered why he was such a maniac at times. A quote from him is, I was always driven on the basketball court. I always wanted to win every game I played in, sometimes too much. When you're out on the playground just playing and you're scraping, fighting, and do whatever you can to win the game. When it's all over with, your friends and I think, why did I get like that? Bill Lambeer was dirty and a crybaby. He tried, in the opinion of Larry Bird, to hurt people. But it can never be said that Bill Lambeer shrank from a fight or was merely an untalented goon. The investment banker looking kneecap buster for the Detroit Pistons bad boys may be the NBA's arc villain. He fought everyone. He got into a fight with Larry Bird, he got into a fight with Charles Barkley even, and even got into a mini scrap with Dennis Rodman. He smashed more faces than perhaps any player in NBA history. As dirty and cheap as Rick Mahorn was, there was something oddly amusing about it because he smiled all the time. He laughed while Isaiah Thomas tried in vain to punch him in the face. He fit every Laker of the course of the 1989 finals and grinned through most of it. He flipped Michael Jordan off like a pinwheel to start a melee in which he tossed Bulls coach Doug Collins. Mahorn played for the Sixers, Bullets, Nets, and Pistons and knocked down, elbowed, or fouled pretty much every great player of the era. During his time with the 76ers, it was part of a duo dubbed McFilthy and McNasty by Celtics Radio broadcaster Johnny Most. You will remember Tree Rollins as the Atlanta Hawk who drilled Danny Ainge in the head with an elbow sparking a terrific playoff melee at the Garden in which Rollins eventually bit Ainge's hand. But no video exists of the hysterical exchange he had in the playoffs with Lionel Hollins. Rollins hit Hollins, Hollins punched Rollins in the back of the head. Hollins then ran with Rollins, giving chase behind the basket and over to the bench area. Isaiah Thomas, one of the greatest guards in basketball history. Also a nasty little competitor whose dimply smile was a handy mask for the mayhem he dabbed in. How nuts did he sometimes go? He got walloped by Bill Cartwright, went bananas, then instead of getting to Cartwright, he showed Pistons assistant Brendan Malone what he wanted to do to Cartwright by choking him. An intentional foul by Danny Ainge, blindsiding Ainge moments later to take his revenge. Ironically, an elbow from Lambeer in practice sent Thomas into a tizzy and he broke his hand punching his fellow bad boy. Lambeer felt so badly, he retired. That's a wrap for the video guys, thank you so much for clicking on this, it honestly means a lot. Before you leave, be sure to slap a like on it, and if you're new here, remember, subscribe with those bell notifications on. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.